another one, the interior gardener here. Do a little bit of grass cutting. Uh, it's a little wet today. We had a storm roll through here earlier today, a few hours ago, but the grass, some of it's starting to put tassel, I call it tasseling, going to seed already. So it, uh, yeah, I'm running, I have no time, I'm running out of time to cut grass even these days, guys. You hear a seagull. You hear that? I don't know what that bird is. But anyway, the video today is I want to show you my new bee yard. Now, there were videos, maybe just pictures uh, last year on Discords. Um, I have a Discord. Uh, feel free to check it out. Just search the Interior Gardener. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. But anyway, I had a bee yard last year that was quite sheltered on my property, but it got hardly any sun. In the summertime, it got maybe three, four hours a day, and that's it. Bees like it when it's warmer, especially in our climate. We don't get a lot of 85 degree, 80 degree plus days here in the summertime. Sometimes we get 85 degrees or 30 Celsius or so. But this year, I'm gonna move my bee yard. I'm gonna show you, I'm looking right at it, and I'm gonna show you why. I'll show you why first. The sun, that's west. So that means east is this way. So the sun will come up over here and it'll go this way or eventually it'll go like that because south is that way. And the only thing that's blocking it are these kind of older straggly pine trees. So you pretty much have full sun a lot of the time till you get back here. And then even back here you got, well, not so much, you have dappled sun. But this is gonna be the new bee yard. <laughs> There's a lot of work that needs to be done. All these weeds need to be taken. I already sprayed them everything, but we had rain like the next day, so I'm not sure what took. Um, this used to be, what I'm guessing is, sorry about the wind, by the way. It is a windy area here, so yeah, we might put up some wind blocks in the back, some old plywood or something. Anyway, uh, and, and then in the, well, as the summer comes on, there is a field right back here that is going to have corn in it. So that'll provide a bit of windbreak. But anyway, I'm guessing this was an original garden to the property. The property or the housing, is the house here is, is, is 30, 33, 33 years old, 30 years old. So I'm assuming this is original. Original like split rail. Not that this wood is 30 years old. This is, this is older stuff. But they have a water hose here. This was buried in the, in the ground. I got rid of it. Well, the part that's in the ground I just cut. That goes over to where the house is. So they had water here. And you know, at one time this, this worked. And you walk in here and you can see there's remnants of raised beds and there's a bit of a pathway right here and if you walk up these go all the way up i think there's actually no there's no break at all and here are some old these are old school good quality at the time tomato cages they're not made like this anymore you pull them out of the ground like that they're going to break but anyway there's a bunch here maybe a dozen likely tomato plants here maybe maybe pepper plants here nothing ever comes back so it's been many many years since there's been anything in here but i'll, I'll take all these out and i'm going to come in here when it dries out real well i'm going to come back and try to burn all this But since we had heavy rains, I'm not sure how feasible that's going to be. Let's go back to the beginning here. But what I want to do is I'm going to come in here, remove this wood, I and mean, it should come out pretty easy. Just put a shovel or a crowbar. Remove the wood, clean all this out. Um, I may bring my push mower up in here because there are rocks and stuff up in here. Um, like I'm just walking on top of years of grass. But I know there are bits of rock and like dirt and rubble in here. So I want to be a little careful. And back here, I think this is rhubarb. I'm not really sure. Looks like it, but it's but the rhubarb I have in my my garden plot is huge compared to this stuff. So I may dig that out. Just keep that. The rest of this, just mow it down. Or use the weed whacker, or whatever. Come in here and clean all this out. This I'm not sure what this is. I don't know what type of bush that is. Um, and then on this side here, there's another bush. I don't know what these are, but they're going to stay. They're not really in the way. I'm not looking to clear everything out of here. But what I want to do is I want to get these raids. Oh, here's some here's some wood and just sticks and crap under here. Holy Jesus. <laughs> it's going to fall. So I want to get this all cleared out. Get the wood out and then bring in wood chips. I got lots of wood chips 
Now again, the tractor can only reach so far, but it can reach across there. I can even come in from the back. I can come in from this way. So I shouldn't have to spread too much. So I can kind of fling it with the bucket. I'll bring you guys along when I do that. Hopefully, while well, it has to be this week. Today is Sunday. Next Sunday. So today I think is the I think today's the 22nd of May. I'll turn myself around so I can talk to you guys. Today's the 22nd of May. Or the 21st. It's, or no, today's Saturday. Sorry. Anyway, next Sunday, whenever this is coming out, it's like the whatever the 29th or whatever of May is, I'm getting my two nukes. So this B area has to be finished. I have wood for cross. I'm gonna. Sh it, it, this will make more sense once I actually start doing this, which I'll bring you guys back when I get the B yard set up. But I want to do like a preliminary video here to show you what I'm planning to have, and that way, if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, you can leave them in the comments. And all this old crap, like well, not old. This is old wood. I, mean, I thought about coming in here and just knocking all of this down, but it's still in decent condition. It looks kind of nice. I'm gonna come in through here, weed whack all this down. And then um, maybe trim this back a little bit. I'm not sure what this is. I don't know. There's actually two things here. I think that's different. Oh, this is a vine. This is something different. Look at this. This is a vine that's growing up through here. And this is, oh, this is part of the vine. <laughs> this is this is the bush, whatever this is. Maybe a willow or something. That's the actual tree. But I might come in here and just trim it up a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is around the whole edge, not the back edge, but the front edge all along the front here. Mow all this down, pick out whatever rocks and just rubble and all those little bricks and get rid of this hose and all this debris in here. Like there's this, there's this like stuff in here. There's there's bricks in here. You can see these bricks. Imagine hitting that with a lawnmower. So I want to get this all cleaned up, get this barrel barrel out of here and kind of, you know, clean this up. And the reason why is so I can come in here with my mower and I can just mow tight to it. Sorry, I can mow tight to it. Now, some people may say, ah, you got to... You can't mow that close to bees. Well, I did last year. Now, I did last year with a veil on and a coat, but they didn't come after me. Now, I was actually within probably four feet of the hives. This year, the hives are gonna be up in the middle. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna put them by one there. I mean, they're gonna be close together because they may have tons of space. My long-term goal is for this to eventually have, say, a dozen hives in it. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Come in here and there'd be wood chips in here. Maybe put a proper path with something else It's on a bit of a slope, which isn't a big deal because I can um, I'll level out the hives obviously and then yeah, they'll be here So that's a quick little a little kind of update as far as the bees my bees died over the winter Which I did explain to you guys in one of my previous videos um, If you didn't see that I think it's called uh, Dead out or something what happened if you have to search through my videos, my farm videos, you'll see a video about my what happened to the bees and they died, which sucks. So I got to buy all new bees, which are very expensive. But anyway, the goal is to get them through the winter this year so we can multiply hives next year. All right, guys, thanks for watching and make sure you stay tuned because as the summer goes on, there's going to be lots of bee update videos. Maybe I'm hoping maybe once a month, every two, three weeks at least. To show you the progression of the bees making brood making honey making well making pollen collecting pollen and the whole deal uh, it's gonna be fun all right guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time